What's up guys? In today's video I'll show you how I used my excavator to make a French drain here. I could have done it a lot more efficient but you'll see my mistakes there and also I made a pretty cool uh, mailbox from some uh, plants on Pinterest so check it out. Here is the latest project that we did built a holder for the mailbox found plants on Pinterest. I like this one, I just modified it a little bit. Numbers here, they uh, light up. They have uh, LEDs on the background here. I just gotta hook that up later on. So we built it out of the cedar that was milled from the property here. Put it into sono tubes on the bottom and put some uh, stretch tape on the bottom of the post. So hopefully they will survive a little bit longer. Yesterday, went ahead and put in some quick crete and mounted it here. That's why we have those stabilizing uh, two by four and what is that, two by two on the side here, holding it in place. So I'm gonna try to get electricity to that one later on today. Here's the other project we have going at the same time. We're gonna be putting in some French drains going around the top of the property right here, coming back down around going down here into this seasonal creek it goes that way also tied in this whole area just going one one across and then we'll have a y right there and coming down so today i'm off to home depot to pick up an order of some drainage pipe four inch drainage pipe so a sock for the pipe a uh a material to make a burrito out of this so first the the fabric goes in then we have one and a half inch round rock that will go on top of the fabric then we'll have the drainage pipe with a sock on it wrap or put more round rock on top of it then uh, wrap the burrito with the rest of the fabric before we go ahead and backfill that is today's project because tomorrow we're getting topsoil for this area so we can sow wildflowers and uh, grass seeds later on. Here is another view from the top of the construction area. You can see my Starlink in the background there, so Starlink antenna. And then here you can see a $143 uh, mistake. So that's the conduit from the house goes out over there you can see in the middle of the wall trenched all the way down here comes here comes here goes through there and straight up to the starling antenna uh, i completely forgot that one was there when i went ahead and trenched so i had to order a new one you can see the other side of the wire that's inside is sticking out right there so there you go just got back from home depot and here are the supplies that i picked up for the french drain system so i got 300 feet of four inch uh, pipe we have sleeves for the pipes then we have this fabric for the trench itself a few fittings and that is it let's see if it says the total here let's have a look no it doesn't all right i think it was about 300 bucks i'll check later so the sleeve is sort of in i realized that my trench is much too wide and the fabric and or i guess the fabric is not wide enough so i would love for it to go up on top, down, up here, and then held in place by sticks. I got the wrong stuff, but I'm uh, going for it. So it's gonna be a lot more work when I put the rocks in, because now I have to make sure that the fabric is available to wrap over the top instead of dealing with that after the fact. All right. I took the farm Tesla to the local rock supply. Got inch and a half round drain rock. So that is what I'm now going to throw into the ditch over here. Got a lot of manual labor ahead. 
I now have a light bed of rocks in the trench. It is pretty clear that that excavator has a bucket on it that's too wide, but I don't have another bucket. I have one on order on uh, Amazon, so hopefully that will arrive soon for my other projects. Here you can see the drain pipe with the sock partially installed. Sock is just to prevent um, stuff from falling into it or sand. And here you can see my kid and the other pipe. Um, give me one of those socks, please. Come on, there you go. That's the sock, it has an applicator as well. You just uh, take this cardboard and make it into a square and then make a knot in one side of the sock and just pull it across fairly easy. I have now backfilled 33 feet of uh, the trench. It took a whole cubic yard to fill this in uh, with an inch and a half drainage rock. So, lesson learned really, really hard way is that you should not trench this wide. So definitely get a trenching attachment to the excavator when you do this, a smaller bucket, because uh, I did the math to fill in down there and then across up here, it's gonna take another about five and a half cubic yards. And I'm doing it all by filling up a five gallon bucket from here and then walking over and dumping it. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be a lot of work. It is gonna be super efficient though. It is gonna work super well, but a lot of work. I have now backfilled most of it. It was so fast when I used the excavator. So I had a delivery of five yards delivered right down here. So I could just pick it up in my bucket and drop it in. So I'll still need one more uh, yard and that should be all set. I left this one open so that I can make this connection once I get the new uh, wire for the Starlink. But uh, yeah, this should be pretty good. In about 30 minutes, I'll get delivery for topsoil two truckloads so we can spread it all over here and start sewing. So that is it for uh, this project. Really liked the way the um, mailbox turned out. I wish I hadn't had to buy so much uh, rock from the place up the street here. But um, when you only have one size bucket on your excavator, it's gonna be a very wide um, trench. So anyway, it all worked out. It has rained quite a bit since, and um, it has worked out well. It comes out here in the stream. You can see the sock on the bottom there. Thinking I might uh, throw a metal screen on there as rodents can chew through that screen on during the dry season and end up building something in there. I don't want that. So anyway, that's uh, growing here right now. I uh, put some topsoil on top and we're just waiting for it to set. That's it for this week. Please uh, like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll see you in the next one.